So I wanted to make spec maps that look as cool as this, but I use a dumb image editing software called paint.net, which is nothing like Photoshop. So I was never able to follow anybody else's tutorials but I have a tutorial that works with paint.net and works with pretty much every image editing software. And it's easy, it's dead simple. We have our original livery design and the best way to make it painless is to separate the livery design, all the designs by what material you want them to be. So main car body is going to be glossy metallic our tear off design is going to be glossy and we have our decal layer which is going to be matte i also have spoiler brackets here that i'm going to make a semi-gloss metallic go to the file new we're going to open a new file at 2048 by 2048 resolution so our base coat is going to be a glossy metallic so we're going to put our blue all the way up to 255 and it's always going to be at 255 now because we want it glossy we're going to keep our green at zero and because we want it metallic we're going to bring our red all the way up so we have this really really vibrant hard on the eyes magenta that we're looking at we're going to head back to our original layer and copy the tear design that we want to make glossy add a new layer on the spec map and paste it there Next, we're gonna go to the adjustments layer and we're gonna go to hue and saturation first and drag the lightness all the way down. Next, we'll go to the levels. We're going to adjust it so that the red and green channels are not selected and the bottom of the output is gonna go all the way to the top. Or you could just type in 255 here and then click okay. Now we have our gloss. Create a new layer and then copy paste the decal layer into it and now I'll show you why it matters that we drag everything to black first as you can see if I just adjust the levels you can see everything is a different color so the hair is a different color the mouth is a different color the tongue is a different color and the beak is a different color everything is a different color and that means everything is going to be a different material if this is a look you're going for then by all means use this um, but this is not what I want to do I want everything to be a consistent matte uh, material. So, hue, saturation, lightness all the way down, and then back to levels and make them all blue. I don't want them to be fully matte because that doesn't always look the greatest. I want it to just have a little bit of gloss so there's some kind of sheen on it. Looks like a, it makes it look almost like it's made out of paper. I'm gonna grab a paintbrush tool. I'm gonna get rid of the red channel because it's not gonna be metallic. And then I'm gonna add some green to it. Uh, just about there. The more green there is, the more matte it is. So I'm gonna grab the brush stroke and brush over the layer. Go back to the decal layer and then select hue and saturation again and change the hue until the brush stroke disappears. Delete the brush stroke layer and now we have max. I'm gonna go ahead and add the spoiler brackets last. Copy, paste into a new layer. And then once again, drop it down to, to black and then levels. And so because I want it to be like a semi-gloss, I'm gonna drop the green channel down right around here, I guess. And then the red channel will be all the way up because it's a metal. We have added a new layer, so we're gonna brush stroke across it. And then once again, we're gonna adjust the hue and then adjust the lightness. Just gonna adjust all these sliders until that brush stroke disappears. All right, that looks like it'll be about good. So I have my spec map now. What next? Well, if you have the iRacing UI, open the UI, open your car, and then you're gonna save your spec map as a TGA file, and you will save it as a car underscore spec underscore customer number dot TGA. And now we want our bit depth to be 32 bit, and our compression needs to be turned on because if we do not turn it on, this thing turns into 16 megabytes. That is huge. So now we have our metallic and it looks great now we upload it to trading paints 
We're going to select a paint file and we're going to select the TGA of our livery. So that'll be car underscore your customer number. We're going to click this button here to add a spec map. Click here, and this is why you want the UI running at the same time. If you close this and you have the option selected in the Trading Paints program, it's going to clean up the existing uh, paint files after closing. So this MIP isn't going to be in your files. So we have our iRacing UI running, and here we have our MIP for the Mustang. I'm gonna upload that. Fill out all the other information and then upload to my paints and you are now running a very gorgeous Mustang out on track or whatever car you're doing. Very simple, very easy. Hope I made it made sense.